Deer. D E E R. What? W H A T. Jake Sin Remover. What's wrong with him? He's beginning to act dumb. Oh, come on. My precious. Nobody likes the Lord of the Rings. Wait, I said that wrong. I mean, nobody likes Lord of the Rings references. You were walking around a toy store with your brother, and the silly putty just jumped in your pocket. Yes! Scene does not contain a flashback of the incident. It's already obvious it was Charlie, but then again, we don't want this to be a mystery. You ever eaten snails? Yeah, sure. I mean, in a restaurant. Oh, uh, no. Scene does not contain a flashback. Apparently mom wasn't the only parasite at dinner tonight. I know, Alan was there too. That I actually stole it, but my mind couldn't deal with it. That shit doesn't happen randomly, Alan. Where you do something horrible and wake up with no recollection? Oh yeah. And yet there she is, lying right next to you. Now that's when that shit happens, Alan. Bad Alan? It's, it's what I call my potential for evil doing. We never get to see bad Alan until another six years from now when Alan runs a Ponzi scheme. That would mean there's no bad Alan. That's true, but I can't afford to take that chance. Drama. Hey, Charlie. Wanna just make out then? I'll do it. Have you ever done anything so wrong? It's too early to say. Yep, she still hasn't kidnapped you and placed you in a dungeon pit. Sing it with me, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie didn't sing along. Are you decent? Charlie opened the door before asking Alan if he was decent. The price of healthy gums is eternal vigilance. Roll credits. <laughs> Gurgle and spit. Charlie locked himself in a cramped bathroom. Should have been the other way around. There is no bad Alan. Yes, there is. We'll see him in six years. Damn you to hell! Come out here and die like a man! Nobody ever dies like a man over a silly putty. It's one, two, three, four. A monkey could crack that. You are a monkey! Okay, can we please get past this? No! No, we can't. Alan can't get over something that happened 25 years ago. I'm your brother! You're gonna forgive me eventually, you always do. No, no, this is different. Just threaten to kick him out if he won't forgive you. Alan will immediately forgive you then. May I please just come in? Are you fleeing from the law? Calm and cruel. Evelyn likes to channel her inner Lady Tremaine. I put it in his pocket. You framed your baby brother? It's Charlie Harper. It'd be a shocker if he didn't frame Alan. There was no insurance for kleptomania therapy in those days. It was all out of pocket. Thank God for the 21st century. I forgive you. Sarcasm. Would you give me the ketchup? Here's the ketchup. Thank you. Ignoring is one thing, but that is just cruel, Alan. If Uncle Charlie let you kick him in the nuts, would that make you guys even? No. That's easily the best way to make them even. Nobody threw me out. Your mother and I mutually decided that we weren't compatible. Alan still denies being thrown out to Jake even after Jake already knows the truth. Please, tell me what I can do. I'm begging for your forgiveness here. Just threaten to throw him out if he doesn't talk to you. What did you do? Did you sneak into my room and pour warm water on me while I was asleep? Let's say it was water and I poured it. Scene does not contain a flashback. 